All right. Hello, everyone. Journal Luke here. Really didn't want to be making another episode of Dirty Driving this week, as even the most previous video I made was titled Road to A Class. And my progress bar on the B ranking was almost completely filled. I had about one pixel left to reach A rank. So I'm just really, I'm just not in a good mood as of me making this video. So I'm trying to just uh, stay positive. But unfortunately, this race was very, very good until the last moment. And... I'm going to show you guys why in this episode of Dirty Driving. And it's just so unfortunate because I was very close to reaching A rank, so I'm going to have to make up for what this guy did to me by doing very good in several races now just to get back to where I was to begin with. And this is just disrupting, disrupting my progress that I worked so hard to get to. And people that are this disruptive of people, I, I think they need to be exposed. And um, I think this series serves a purpose to not just, um, it's not just a personal place to just, for me to just expose people that I'm angry at. I think, or at least I'm hoping this series is also going to serve a purpose to be a warning sign to people to show things that you shouldn't do in racing and how it can affect other people and, um, you know, just be educational in a way. Uh, let's get straight to it, though. Anyway, so we're the, the main suspect here is the Brazilian driver, and I swear to God, this um, stereotype of Brazilians, it's so true. I don't know why there are so many dirty Brazilian drivers. Anyway, so... Auto Pro Martellan, if that's how you pronounce his username. We're going to be following him um, in this black Volkswagen Beetle. And the first thing I want to point out is that he's an automatic transmission, of course, and he's using traction control in a Beetle. Why would you need traction control in a Beetle? Because the Beetle handles tremendously. It can corner better than almost any GT3 car in this game and you need traction control I, like why I mean I'm just saying if you need traction control on this car that just kind of shows me that you have no idea what you're doing and you don't really know how to control the car on your own so um all right let's go ahead and show you guys how he was being inconsiderate. Let's show lap number two first is where the first strike happened with them. And I already passed it accidentally. I'm just in a bad mood. It's hard to concentrate because this race is very recent as of me making this video. Um, so anyways, we're approaching the double apex to begin lap two. And he does a ridiculous dive bomb. Lunges from super far away and just takes me out. Uh, luckily for me, I didn't go completely off the track there. But it was enough to just disrupt me enough to where I lost a good half a second off of that. And I didn't feel like that was a fair way to overtake me at all. Um, I mean, we can show that one more time. So, um, yeah, coming up to that double apex. And uh, let me just kind of show right here. I mean, he had to acknowledge that I'm already breaking there. He, he if he has... A brain he's gonna know that I'm gonna go from the normal driving line there take the usual geometric line of going from the outside towards the inside he knows that I'm way in front of him and I'm gonna approach the apex before him but what he does instead is he uses my car to slow down essentially you know forget braking on time just brake late do a dive bomb and just lunge way over there to just knock me out of the way because they'll slow your car down right so you know right Right here, he sees that he's traveling way faster than me towards the apex, but that's no big deal because, you know, once you just knock me out of the way there, and right here, right here, you should see, I mean, let's take a moment right here to see if you were a considerate racer. Right here, he should see that 
this chain of cars, he's going to have no room to squeeze in between me and P4, the Brooks 9mm username guy, the other Beetle. Where does he think that he's going to fit in this? Like, he's not taking the, the correct driving line like us three are, and he really should acknowledge that he has no space to fit in here. So you back off. Th that happens in racing sometimes. You have to back off sometimes. And I've noticed this driver, he just refuses to back off. He refuses to let off the throttle. He just acts like, if you're in my way, I'm getting you out of, the, I'm getting you out of my way because nobody should be in my way. This track belongs to me, and this track belongs to nobody else. And that's a theme that we're going to see later in this race, too, with him. So, I mean, just take a moment to examine this here, guys. I mean, where's his thought process here? I don't know where his mind is going. I mean, what is he doing? Why, like, why is he even in that position in the first place? I just, this dive bomb was ridiculous. And this is why they need to have contact penalties back on, to be honest. And, I mean... I'm sorry, guys. I'm just venting a lot about this guy because I do not agree with his thought process whatsoever during this race. So he needs to learn to be more considerate to people. I mean, I know I've already said this, and I'm probably beating on a dead horse, but just look at this. Like, where does he think he's going to fit in in here? He should have backed off and just got right behind me. I mean, even if you're just like, you know, one millimeter behind my bumper, so what? Just, just you know, be, be more patient and considerate. What are you doing? You're just going to use my car instead because, oh, it's, it's, it's okay. I can just, you know, squeeze right in there. And see, he, does, he still doesn't back off. He's just approaching my car more and more. And then he just shoves me out of the way and says, no, I'm going to take this part instead. You just go way off over there. Like, why? Why, dude? What, what are you doing? <sighs> anyway, so... That was kind of strike number one. And, I mean, my initial reaction after that happens... I mean, I'm just kind of, uh, where was I? Okay, there I am, so. After that happened, I was kind of like, okay, what in the world is that? But, you know, I tried to keep my composure and just uh, keep concentrating on the race. But, I mean, um, okay, so if we go to lap four, I remembered that throughout the whole race because I thought that was the dirtiest dive bomb I've ever seen. So, coming up to lap four, I'm catching back up to him just two laps later. And I gotta be honest, I was definitely considering revenge coming up to this hairpin because I remembered what he did. And coming up to here, I break a little bit later than him. And at this point, I wanted to do it. I, I actually was thinking, okay, I'm about to punt you now since you punted me off. But <laughs> I actually decided against it at the very last second. It was right about here. See, I go the opposite direction where his car is. And I think, oh, okay, you know, this isn't worth it. You know, this is not going to be a good look on you. You know, um, it's, it's sometimes really, really hard in racing to, like, hold yourself back from getting revenge on someone because uh, angry emotions can be strong in racing. It really can. So it took a lot of courage and a lot of me um, digging down and, you know, trying to preserve my character and just be the better man here to decide to, at the last second, say, no, nope, this isn't worth it. Just, you know, move on, take deep breaths, accept that it happened. It wasn't fair what he did to me, but I'm not going to seek revenge. And the fact that I didn't seek revenge on him ended up biting me on the butt later on. So I, I didn't punt him off there. And I just decided we'll just go side by side here on this uh, straight. But, you know, I, I said he has a common theme of um, just, it's almost like, that instance at the uh, double apex at the beginning of lap two is not the only time in this race where he kind of acts like, and you can see right there against that guy too. I didn't even notice that until right now. And he just, look at that. He ruined the race for him too because he just shoved him wide on a downhill section. God, this guy, what, what he does is he treats the race as if it's like a qualifying session or a time trial. He treats the race like he's just going to take his line and go full throttle everywhere. And if you're in his way, you're just getting shoved out of the way. He doesn't really have consideration. I mean, when, when you're racing, there, there's a lot of moments where you have to lift off the throttle and slow down 
because it, uh, it, you just got to face it. Not everyone is going to be driving us at, you know, in the same speed as you are. And sometimes you have to lift off if you're coming up right behind somebody. Is it the most ideal? No. Is it going to slow you down a little bit? Yes. But that's that's one of the challenges you face in racing. And he just can't accept that, I guess. He just... Because later on, there's already been two instances where he's treating this race as if it's a time trial. There was that downhill section I just accidentally came across seeing him. But let's show you the one thing that made me decide to make this video is that when I'm approaching the finish line up here, let's look at this from his perspective first. So I'm coming down this section. He's going to see, he should absolutely acknowledge right here, look at my car up there in P5. He should see that I just messed up. I just hit the throttle too early, caused my back end to swing the opposite direction of where my car should be angled in. And so that's going to have to cause me to really lift off the throttle, really slow down, and just regather my car before I can actually approach this next turn, which I didn't necessarily do that exactly smooth enough either. And so right here, he sees that I lost traction again. And now he knows that he's traveling way faster than both of the cars here, both of us. And now, so what does he do when he knows that he's traveling way faster than both of us? Well, you know, of course, the same thing he does uh, in both the instances so far I've showed you. He treats it as if there's nobody else on the track, and he treats it as if he's just in a time trial. Because, you know, who cares if there's other cars? Just act like you're just going the fastest you can, and just ignore if there's people in front of you. You don't have to lift off the throttle. No, because, you know, screw them. If they're in front of you, they just have to deal with it, right? So he's just going to run me right into that guy. He didn't lift off the throttle at all. He ruined both of our races. Well, not, not P6 as much as me, because he... Let's look at it from my perspective now. So I, I messed up tremendously on that downhill section. There's no way he would not acknowledge that. There's no way he would know that he's going way faster than me. Let's see how he just punted me into that guy. And then I just lose control so much after that crash that he caused that I went from, what, what was that, uh, fifth place? Yeah, I went from fifth place to then going all the way down to eventually 11th place because I couldn't regather my car. And this is just, this is unacceptable. Nobody should, nobody should have to deal with people that don't have consideration for other people on the track. I mean, this is just ridiculous, guys. I mean, it's just common sense that when you're racing, there are moments that you have to, you know, lift off the throttle and there's moments that you need to know, like, at that time of the double apex, doing a dive bomb like that, you have to be considerate of not only the space to fit if you're going to overtake and not ram somebody off. Like, you know, know the spacing of where everyone is. But also, if you're going right behind someone and traveling way faster, like what we just saw in the final lap leading up to the freaking finish line... You lift, you have to, I'm sorry, man, but you just had to lift off the throttle there. I made a mistake. It happens. But that was not cool. Like, just because I made a mistake, you think, oh, well, screw you for going slow and I'm going fast. I'm just going to just, you know, forget you for messing up right before the finish line. I'm just going to ram you off the whole track. Like, dude, I'm sorry, but you have to lift off the throttle sometimes. And this is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. <sighs> So, I might be just a little bit too angry about this, um, but yeah, yeah, um, I will say this, um, this was a very fun race leading up until lap five, especially given the fact that I was able to calm myself down enough during the actual race to not seek revenge on him on lap four, but looking back at it now, if I knew he would have done something like that on the last lap, I definitely would have seeked revenge on him. And see, this is this is just like, it's kind of strange. It's like, you think karma would reward you for being the good person and not seeking revenge, but it's just bizarre how it's like, okay, lesson learned, you should have sought revenge? Because it's like, what kind of world is this where 
the right thing to do would have been I mean I I guess I shouldn't say the right thing to do but let me just put it this way if I did seek revenge on him then this thing at the end would not have happened because he would have been way behind me I guarantee you anyone else in this lobby any single one of these guys would have noticed that I made a flaw and that I'm traveling slower than them and they would lift off the throttle you just it's, any one of these guys would have done that I guarantee you that when you're in these ranks the high B's and low A's they understand how to maneuver in racing so there's no excuse for this none there is no excuse for this it's, it's ridiculous and in my opinion someone like this I mean I'm I'm 100% sure that every race he goes in he's treating it like a time trial and he just has no consideration that there's other cars on the track he just drives in the style as if he has a track to himself and that means that every race he goes in he's disrupting it and someone like that I mean I know this is a strong statement to make and it might be just my strong emotions at the time since this happened recently but he needs to be banned he should only play this game against AI computer players he should not be ruining races of everyone else just because he wants to act like no one else should be on the track. And if you really feel that way, just do time trials all the time, dude. Like, when you're in a race, you have to be considerate of other cars. Um, but I did say that this was a good race up until the end, up, up before that happened. So you know what? I feel like this was a good enough race that I want to share with you guys the race despite even that so if you want to stick around in the video and watch the the full race I will post the full race without any commentary because I've already done enough commentary and that's just gonna be a lot of work but I will uh, post a video of the full race that you can watch after this and since this is the last time I'm talking I'm just gonna say now uh, race fast race clean and I will see you all in the next video Enjoy the race if you're sticking for it.